Welcome back to LDV Games, I'm Lord Darth Balls, and this is a Raid Shadow Legends video. And in this video, I'm going to go through one of the most underrated arena nukers in the game. And that is an epic champion, magic affinity, Dark L. Hane. Now, I think you get her for free, don't you? Isn't she a, uh, I think she's a login reward. Um... Can I go backwards? Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, you get her for free at 120 days. Now, for those of you that started after the Tormund fusion, me being one of them, so I don't have Tormund. Uh, even though he's sort of out of the meta now, you still run into a lot of Tormund teams in Arena. And where Dark L. Hane comes in is a hard counter to Tormund. How does that happen? Well... If we take a look at her passive, is it this one? Yes. Uh, no, actually, let's look at this one first. Any time an ally receives a freeze debuff, she gets her turn meter filled by 25% and instantly activates her A2, which is a big hitting ability. And it doesn't put it on cooldown. And then her other passive is when she gets a freeze put on her. It instantly removes it and replaces it with an increased crit rate, an increased crit damage, and a strengthen buff. What? Right? Tormund is insane. Tormund, I and I, I don't have him, so I can't highlight him or show you his kit on, you know, how I use him or build UCs grayed out. But his passive effect has a chance of placing freeze on anyone that receives a buff on the enemy team. Which means if you're going against a Tormund and you use Arbiter like most people do in their arena team, her A1 ability puts an increased attack on every single one of your team. That's four different chances for Tormund to put a freeze on them. If Tormund puts a three freeze on all four of them, Dark Elhane will just pop off. And by the time her turn actually comes around, most of the team is, is half dead already. Uh, let's see if I can find a Tormund team in here. Oh, there's one. Ooh, that looks pretty dangerous, too. Let's see how this goes. I do use Hegemon in this team because he's a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I did a video on him recently. I'll pin to that up top for you guys. Um, but let's see how this goes, right? Let's see if their Tormund is built well. Every now and then I catch a Tormund that hasn't just hasn't been built well, right? Oh, there's a Freeze. And there's Elhane's A2. Oh, no freeze hit that time. But there's her natural A2. Siffy's down. And Tormund's already been killed and revived. They barely even had a chance. I, I mean, it's it's really like a hard counter if you've built uh, Dark Elhane right. Uh, and with enough damage, I should say. Um, so before I burn all of my gems, looking for more Tormund teams, uh, let's go through uh, the champion, uh, her stats, and uh, the rest of her kit, right? Go over her kit a little bit more in detail on the stats and the gear that I have her in, uh, and maybe I'll see if I can find some more some more Tormund teams. Uh, her A1 is a single hit, destroys the max HP by 30% of the damage inflicted, so she can be used in something like Scarab if you're hurting for an enemy max HP champion. And the big hitter that we just watched pop off places an increased attack champion on herself, which is awesome, and then it does an AoE. And the AoE has a 50% chance of placing a decreased speed for two turns, and it books up to 75%. So even if she doesn't kill him, she lands that decreased speed, I mean, it just allows her to get her turn faster. Uh, you'll notice I have her in a three-star blessing, and I do have Phantom Touch on here. Phantom Touch is probably one of my favorite blessings because you could use it on any champion regardless of their rarity, and it allows them to do more damage. Now, uh, it is proportional to their attack, and she is an attack-based champion. So you see I got her built with about 4,000 attack. She's running pretty quick, right? You need your, your arena nukers to be fast, so I've got her at 207. 100% crit rate, and her crit damage is a little lower than I'd like it to be, sitting at like 230, um, but I did opt in for accuracy, so she's sitting at 266, which really isn't high enough for the arena, but for like a nuker, it's perfect. Most nukers don't have any resistance at all, so it'll slow them down, and it'll prevent them from getting their abilities. Now, you'll notice at first glance, right, there's 
some room for more crit damage here, right? I don't even have her amulet maxed out. And what I'm going to end up doing is having these at level 15 for the next artifact enhancement event. Got an attack banner on her. Uh, then I have a, I think it's, yep, an attack chest, not maxed out. Only a five-star crit damage gauntlets, five-star speed boots. So her gear isn't really impressive, right? This is actually a really good piece. Wow, look at that bad boy. I like that one. Um, but she gets the job done. You saw that. And all, all maxing out this gear is going to do is make her even more powerful. Uh, I do have her masteries. Let me move myself out of the way. Went down the offense tree, and if you've watched any of my videos, y'all know that I like Flawless Execution for consistent damage. Uh, went in for the shield so that she can protect herself when she procs her random hit. Uh, typical Ruthless Ambush is great for the arena. She's going to uh, strike everyone right on her first turn because it's going to be an AoE, regardless of whether she gets her turn or the freeze procs it. Um, and if the freeze is what's procking it, they probably haven't taken a turn yet. So more often than not, she's going to be at full HP and she's pretty low HP. So she'll do, she'll be lower HP than most of the targets that she's attacking. If she's not, it's another nuker and they tend to be squishy as well. And then in terms of the uh, support tree that I went down, let me just put myself back over here. Uh, I took the accuracy, the accuracy when there's no skills on cooldowns now she has only two abilities only one skill that goes on cooldown so basically when she has her big ability she'll always get an extra 20 accuracy which is just nice to have right another four for each enemy alive both uh, a boost in ba a, you know stat bonuses from the sets that she's wearing and the chance to extend this the uh the decreased speed now, if I really wanted to hit that, I would go with Sniper, and that would increase it to an 80% chance of landing that decreased speed. It's really not that important to me. If I were to redo her Masteries, I would probably go down the Defense Tree to help mitigate the damage that she takes. She may be fast for a Nuker, but she's still slow in the grand scheme of the arena. And this Retribution is a really nice ability for when you do take a big hit. She'll just pop off that A1, which can actually do some pretty good damage. So, let's see if I can find another Torment team. Uh, and this has a, a an empowered Robar and a Lissandra. Now, this can potentially be dangerous if they beat me in the speed race um, after my... Unless, well, my Hegemon can do some disruption, but if, if he doesn't really... If he's not very effective and they beat me in the speed race, this may be problematic. Uh, so, let's see what happens. <laughs> Uh, never mind then. Although, boom, freeze. One, two. Even though my Hegemon came in and nuked the enemy team, Torman was still there and his effects still happen. Right? So, despite the fact that I almost destroyed his team, he was about to get a lot of his team back. Uh, but all those freezes allowed me to just continue barraging him uh them with dark l Hain's a2 so there it is dark l Hain, the anti-freeze of the arena uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i've recorded a few other arena battles i'll have them play at the end so you guys can see a little bit more showcasing uh, how she is the anti-freeze and the anti-torment which is pretty cool she's a lot of fun to play with uh not the biggest nuker but the utility she brings against Freeze champions, uh, your Carl, Tormund, Gerga is incredible. So if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate the view. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe on your way out, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Enjoy your raid.